Valentine's Day going. It's not too bad here. It's starting to get my voice back. Ugh, I just slobbered on the mic. That's what I hate about the boom. Well, not just the, not like a regular boom, but the dead cat boom. We like slobber, like spit on accident. It like stays there. It's kind of gross. Heading to check the mail right now. The brights are out on this, on this bike. So I thought we might as well upgrade the lighting system. I mean, halogens are pretty basic and we do a ton of traveling on this. Well, it used to be on my bike too, but kind of retiring it. It's another story. And so I, I thought we might as well upgrade the lights to Xenon, but um, we're gonna have to do by Xenon because this is the H7. And, but I wanted to do by Xenon because, come on. I didn't want to have one light on. It's either like the left or right on and one light off. Which It's like the reflectors act as the brights. So it's one bulb each side and then one on is regular and one other one on is bright. It's just kind of annoying. I didn't get anything in the mail, I got just the uh, ads, whatever, I'll read those. All these kids are all fascinated with the, usually the helmet, or yeah, even older people, they'll be like, is that a GoPro? Yeah, it's a GoPro, it's not really, it's a Sony. But it's funny how the kids get really excited about, it's like, the bikes. Yeah, so we ordered a set of Bi-Xenon, and also the projector lens, because I can't use I mean, if it didn't use like the reflectors as the way that it projects the light, then I wouldn't need the projector lenses. Actually, yeah, I would. Unless it had the cap on the tip. They do sell those, but I asked Janine if she wanted like that, because those are cheap, and I could put that right on. Or if she wanted like the projector lens, which is cool, and then she got a, she wanted the demon eye and the angel eye. Those are pretty freaking cool. And I always wanted that on my bike, but mine is glass, and it doesn't have like the, mine's the halogen with two filaments, unlike this one, this one's just one filament. It's just a single bulb on mine, but it has two filaments. So you do brights and it turns on another filament. But the way my, that mine projects is through the glass, I'm pretty sure. It has like the, it reflects the light through the glass, it points it from the glass. So I can't, actually, I could. I couldn't do the projector lens, that's what I wanted. The projector lens, I could have done like the, the, the by xenon just regular bulb but not the projector lens because the glass would have made it all distorted looking so we got that and I'm just waiting for it in the mail I'm really looking forward to installing it it's gonna be pretty freaking cool and I got I think I got like a six 6k tone so it's gonna be a hint of blue I don't want like really really blue I mean I like the hint of blue so we're not giving up so much light over color tone I know they do sell like all these different tones too like they have a purple one I saw is pretty cool and that would be pretty cool with this bike could match and everything but you would be sacrificing lumens uh, light like mess measurement for light it wouldn't be as bright as say like what we got the 6k 6,000 so I just decided to do that and I think it was like a standard red demon eye and then like blue angel eye I think something like that <coughs> that's pretty cool though I mean it's something I always wanted on my bike but I couldn't do unless I had like retrofitted the headlight in with like a plastic covering but anyway so looking forward to that I also got I didn't tell Janine yet but I got a fender eliminator and that's gonna be pretty cool a lot of people have been talking about it like in the bike meetups and stuff like how come you don't have a fender eliminator or how come yeah how come you 
still have your fender. I'm just like, I didn't really notice before. I mean, I guess my ADD is getting cured or something. Usually I'll notice weird things and then things I don't like, but after I noticed it, I kind of thought, yeah, why don't, why don't we have a fender eliminator? Because that piece of plastic is kind of ugly. So I went ahead and ordered one of those. Those are actually pretty expensive. So waiting for that in the mail too. This should be coming around the same time. And yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, with my bike, I've been trying to work on it and I just let it sit too long to where, you know, I mean, carburetor vehicles are a pain in the ass if you let them sit. It's because the gas gums up and shit. But I got my bike working and then out of nowhere, it started to short out. So now it's shorting out and it's blowing the fuse, the ignition fuse. Ignition and engine, I think. I don't remember what the combination was. That fuse is like a 10 amp. It blew it, I'm, I'm like, it's not starting now. So I put a new one in, I took it out of the, I think it was the headlight or something. That one blew right away after I turned the key. And then so I put a wire in there. It's a thick gauge wire with the plastic coating. And it was working. I started it. It was good, good and everything. Um, but the <laughs> wire started melting the plastic around the wire, like the coating around the wire. And then I'm like, so there's a short somewhere and I'm pretty sure I know where it is. I think it's in the starter because I did have a bad seal the last time I looked in there uh, to where the starter was actually filling with oil. But I was having I was having no problems with it before and so I left it alone but it's every time I turn the key the fuse blows. So I'm thinking I don't know if there's always contact in the starter if it were to fill up because I was thinking that it would only be hot if you hold the start button. I don't know, but I might be wrong. But I'm gonna unplug the starter and probably put, I'm not gonna waste any more fuses. I'm gonna connect another wire, a thick gauge wire, and see if it starts smoking or melting or whatever. And if that's the case, then I'm just gonna need a new starter, which isn't that bad. But well, pr actually, I just thought of this today. I was thinking it might be the starter. But prior to this, I listed my bike up online, Craigslist, all these online marketplaces. I'm just selling it. I'm selling, I'm parting it out. So I'm gonna unplug the starter, see if that helps anything. If not, then I'm just done with it. It's just too much for me, and at this point, I'd rather just get rid of it. I mean, I have this one for now, um, what we're riding. Basically, Janine's looking for a car, so I might just take this one over. I'm gonna really, really f miss my Honda VFR, but I am just... I'm done. So I had a, I've had a few offers so far. The reason that I'm not selling it is because I don't have a clean title. And I put that in the listing and all my listings and people just continue to say, I want the title or they want to get it notarized. I'm like, I can't get it notarized. I don't have a clean title. So it's just really annoying. It's because I had some, some court fees that I didn't pay like 10 years ago when I was a teenager and I added up, it's like $3,000 now. Now they put a lien on everything I own. So I'm gonna start anything I buy, I'm gonna just put in Janine's name because that. I'm gonna try to, well Janine's gonna pick up a car sometime soon hopefully. And I'm gonna go to the court and see if I could settle this all out because it's kind of ridiculous. But, I mean, I have a felony for it, which is stupid. And see if I can remove the and liens on everything so that I can buy and sell things in order to pay off my debt uh, because I could easily sell this bike not that I would but I could easily sell this and then clear my debt but they won't let me do it I need to get some gas so I've just decided to part it out and I'm still getting like people like I say everything that's wrong with it they're like does it run <laughs> they're like retards and it's just irritating and one guy he wanted the entire engine and wiring a little bit of ghost vlogging there <laughs> just teleported so anyway the guy well he wanted like the the engine the entire engine wiring and so i'm like what exactly do you not want and i'm like so does that mean you want the kill switch and everything is like that too he's like yeah so i'm just like thinking what exactly do you not want I mean, 
There's always a canoe for a beggar right there. Uh, I just really don't like panhandlers. They don't. They have freaking houses and usually nice cars. They get. It's. I'm not even gonna talk about that. I know some of you guys are gonna be like, there actually are some real homeless. I know that, but a majority of them I noticed. They have houses. They have nice houses. They have nice cars. Flat screen TV, all the new games and shit, whatever. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about that. So, and I know this because living in Florida, I knew oh, I most, almost 90% of the quote homeless people, beggars, and a lot of them were fucked asshole people like pickpocket and shit so I guess you could say I have a different perspective overall and I kind of stereotype I guess what stereotype no I'm prejudiced so anyway the guy wanted all that and what the heck was that? Good guy. He's like the cheesiest smile. He's happy. The guy wanted all that, and I'm like, that's basically the entire bike. So I'm stuck with a frame and some tires, and I mean, gears probably, the freaking um, sprockets. I don't know if you want the front sprocket. <laughs> so he basically wanted the whole bike, and I'm like, I'm gonna be stuck with all that shit. That's not gonna sell. That's the whole, basically, the core of the bike. He messaged me. He's said how much for all that and i just said i don't know maybe 500 it really depends on exactly what you need because i can't sell anything that's going to be my main profit well i wouldn't say profit but that's going to be my main source of money that i'm getting back from the bike and so i mean even 500 that's cheap that's like way too cheap for the entire mechanical works the wiring and all that and so like he got pissed off and um he didn't respond he just read it and so i'm like do you want to come by and check it out nothing he read it <laughs> just like what if and this kid's like, it's a kid. He's in high school. I'm like, what are you expecting? I'm not just going to give the shit away. I'm pretty sure he's probably like, cool, $30? I'm like, no. Get the f*** out of here. The engine's still good. Everything's good. It's just, um, it's the freaking stupid freaking dead cat boom. It's like, the freaking hairs get stuck on my lip. My lip's dry and it just like pulls the hair. Stop kissing me. So I just had, I, I just got back from Walmart and bought a couple things. Maybe these chips Janine wanted. I meant to get them yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. Last night I made mole um, and some chicken and rice, and I meant to get these chips Janine likes. It's like it's just tortilla chips with like lemon seasoning. It's not. It's actually not. It's not bad for you. They're pretty healthy, I guess. But I meant to get those. They have them at Walmart and. And I, I had stopped by Food City yesterday. I just didn't have enough time. I literally ran in there and got a bunch of shit. So I just stopped by there now. She's off in 14 minutes. Should be getting there like right then. I don't know. Well, this kid, I'm just thinking, what the fuck do you think I'm going to be doing with the rest of the parts? And it, it's kid, this kid from high school, it's, you could tell he's probably like 14, 15, something like that. Somewhere between there. And I'm just thinking, I don't think he even knows anything about motors i think he's just trying to buy the entire bike like because he wasn't stopping i was like and what about this and this he's like yep yeah yeah like what so what do you want the f entire bike and i've been getting a lot of stupid offers to i'm parting it out well be prior to this i i stated exactly what was wrong these guys want to trade vehicles and nearly all of them are garbage be like a 1994 something piece of shit and it doesn't even run like why would i want that why you might as well just throw that shit out you, like no one even wants that it'd be like a borat vehicle like a borat van the old piece of shit something like off of borat where he always has those weird vehicles like an ice cream truck or something i mean that would be kind of cool too but i don't want an ice cream truck <laughs> i mean it'd be cool to have one and if it ran and everything and pimp it out and all that but stuff like that and then they're saying when can you notarize the title and i'm like can you read the f post I said right there that I don't have a clean title. It's not clean. You can't register it. It's just really f irritating. Like, I want to f 
strangle. Yeah, I know some of them are probably just mental. Just yeah, kind of a little bit stupid. Or, I don't know, I would say they're pretty stupid if they can't read. But there's a lot of that. They don't read. And then they're like, oh, when I didn't have the tires on there. I'm like, doesn't it doesn't have tires? Well, I had tires, but they were flat because of the air valves. Um, I have new tires on there now. But prior to that, people are like, so when can I come by and pick it up? And then I'm like, well, we schedule a time. They want it automatically for some reason. They don't care. They don't read. And then they're like, yeah, do you think it'll ride home? And I'm in Arizona City. I'm near Casa Grande. I'm in the middle of Tucson and Phoenix. And they're like, do you think I could drive it home to Peoria or, or anywhere, really? But Peoria, that's way out there. Or Avondale. That's like in the avenues. I'm like, oh, I just, I actually, well, when they just say shit like that, I'm like, yeah. Yep. Or they're like, is anything wrong with it? Nope. Come read? Can you read? Well, you can obviously read what I just responded. Ah, I'm just turning to rant. I'm just going to stop. So anyway, my bike is, I'm parting it out. Not that I don't know any really one that has a VFR out here in Arizona. I know one guy that I met, but it's, they're pretty rare. They only made it for like two years. Well, the one that I have, the VFR 700, they made it to bypass the tax they started with the Harleys. It was like up to a certain CC. In order to avoid that tax and in order to sell the bike cheaper, they made it a 700 instead of a 750. So the bike is kind of rare. I mean, the 750 is basically a twin. It is the same thing except the engine displacement. So I don't really know how that's going to go. I'm not going to... Am I going to sell the entire thing for cheap I don't know what the what that kid was thinking I hope he finds this video I hope he watches it he's I think he's local that was stupid I'm not gonna sell my bike for, for I don't know how much you were expecting 500 was cheap for the engine and all the wiring I wasn't gonna sell it for that cheap anyway but I was just giving an estimate so pick up Janine right now I'm getting hungry I think we might head to Buffalo Wild Wings wing night um, I'm always down for that. Those ghost pepper wings. I've been craving it. I'm not, I don't really know how, how it's going to go in my throat, though, because I still am sick. I mean, it's kind of hurting. My lungs still a little sensitive. It gets really sensitive when I talk. It's like when I'm exhaling. So I'm, I am coughing here and there, but I'm cutting it out because who wants to hear me cough? And that's how I usually am. I cut out a lot of the unnecessary shit, but I cough a lot on the road because of my allergies. So if you guys ride with me, I'm not sick usually, just my allergies are bad.